Hello. I just had to, I was going to start filming, but I had to take a moment to spray my cat with a spray bottle because yeah, it used to be that he was really afraid of plastic bags, but now he has a severe fetish for them. And it's like, if I have any like trash can on the ground, like a small waste basket next to my desk, all he wants to do is pull the plastic bag out of it. And it just annoys me to shit. And I don't know what the solution is because what am I supposed to put in a trash can except for a plastic bag? You know what I mean? So this is originally it's loud cat spray, but I suppose that crinkling plastic bags is pretty loud. And like, if it was just like, oh, cause he doesn't even really pull them out. He just likes to, you know, crinkle them. And it just annoys the shit out of me. It's not actually destructive. It's just the noise really bothers me. So that's why I uh, had to spray him. But now I'm realizing with my nose that I actually had some vinegar in that bottle too. So I've got a vinegar vinegary cat wandering around my apartment right now. Anyway, well, I'm still sick. I still have the flu. And now I also have my period as well. So that's fun. I mean, I guess like that would account for some of the emotional symptoms I was feeling right when I was getting sick. Like I realized that I was sick at work on Wednesday and at the end of the day on Wednesday, I actually like really snapped in anger at a coworker of mine. Like I didn't verbally snap at her. I just inside my mind, I just was suddenly in a total rage. Don't shush me, basically. My job, I don't like to be shushed like I'm a moron. You know, I'm just as smart as you. But anyway, yeah, I was just like feeling like so overwhelmingly emotional and I just, my body felt bad. And so I was like, you know, this is probably the over emotionalness is part of my symptoms. It's just like my body is weak. I'm feeling very emotional. But um, yeah, no, it turns out that it fooled me again, uterus. It was the uterus all along. But I mean, it's great that I'm like getting my periods regularly again, because uh, if, if you were watching my videos before, you know that I went like three months without getting it this summer just for no reason just because of my polycystic ovarian syndrome my body was like man let's just shut this thing down for a while which uh is probably is one of the most unpleasant experiences it's just like total emotional constipation you're just sort of like always having pms and there's no relief to it ever so yeah i'm really glad that uh i'm bleeding and i'm wearing this lovely red sweater it's red it's red like period blood get it it's like my sweater and the inside of my underwear sorry that was kind of gross also match my bread spread mm. last night i watched a movie called the maltese falcon with humphrey bogart from 1941 and it's like, I guess it's the quintessential film noir movie. It's about a detective and there's a damsel in distress and everybody's fucking everybody. And it was very good. And there was a, uh, there was an actor in there who I heard his voice and I was like, what? Who? Why do I know that? But I looked at the, uh, the credits and this actor's name is Peter Laurie. Is there, Mr. Spade, at the newspapers imply a certain relationship between that uh, unfortunate happening and uh, the death a little later of the man Thursby? And I'm like, why do I know this guy? What is the... And I realized it's a cartoon voice that I'm, I'm hearing. I'm like, there is a cartoon character that is an impression of this guy. Who is it? So I googled it and you'll never guess who it was. Hello. Hello, this is the phone company. And we're phoning up to warn you about the crank caller. Have you had any crank calls? Mm, nope. No? Good. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Your mother sold my socks! <laughs> I'm supposed to go to a party tonight, and as much as it pains me, I don't think I'm gonna go. It's too bad, because I had a really nice dress picked out. It's a formal occasion, and uh, I just don't feel well enough to go. So I'm gonna write on Facebook that I'm not coming, which is lame, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, doing, I'm not feeling well enough. I mean, why go to a party when you can stay home and drink emergency and take some pills? Uh. 
I really do feel bad though. I feel like, I mean, I want to be more social. I want more friends. And I found myself a bunch of times in like the past month or so. It's like when I get invited to do stuff, I will usually say no more often than not, unless I've got a lot of advanced warning. I'm not a spontaneous person. When, you know, I just, I feel like my life is so stressful that whenever I have time off, I need that time to decompress at home. And if I'm going to do something, I have to see it coming. You know, I have to prepare myself emotionally and spiritually. And so if somebody invites me to do something last minute, my answer is almost always no. And so I've like turned down plans a couple times in the past month or so. And then on top of that, it's like, now I'm not going to this party, you know, I'm just, I just feel like there's always something that gets in the way. And I just, I don't like being this sensitive little bitch who just, you know, it's like, I want friends, but how fun am I to hang out with if you can't get me out of my apartment? You know what I mean? I mean, this isn't my fault. Like, having the flu is not my fault, but in years past, you know, I probably just would have sucked it up and went, but I'm old now, and I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm not going. It's just not a cute pattern. And you can only say no to people so many times before they stop inviting you. And that's just what it is. I mean, I just, I need to make more of an effort to get out in general. And again, this isn't my fault, but it's just, it's just sort of bringing up these feelings for me where I feel socially inept and maybe standing alone in my apartment and talking into a camera about it is not the most effective way to deal with this. I'm going to have to talk about it in therapy. Then again, do I need human friends? I mean, look at this. Look at what I got at home. Some people go home to their husbands and wives. I go home to this, you know? Who needs people? Oh yeah, instead of the party, I'm probably just gonna like do my budget and lay under a blanket and watch movies. So, whee! I'm gonna watch Casablanca, which I've never seen before. But I feel like the universe is telling me to watch this movie right now. First of all, it's a movie I've always wanted to see. And it's on my watch list, and there have been so many times where I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this movie, I'm going to watch this movie, and I never watch it. But then there have been a couple things recently where it's like, hey, watch Casablanca. First of all, okay, I, I finally watched Kiss of the Spider Woman, which is, um, uh, what would I even call it? It's like a prison drama from the 80s. It's like, it's got everything, okay? It's like Raul Julia is a young man. You know, it's tender, it's intimate, it's homoerotic, it's funny, it's political, it's like got everything. Anyway, I really love this movie. And um, so I'm like, what else is Raul Julia in? Because I've, I've never seen him in anything except for The Addams Family, you know? And um, there was a, uh, a Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, with a Raul Julia movie called Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, which was truly a terrible, awful movie. Um, and in the movie is a futuristic dystopia where he, he like works at a computer and nobody's ever seen a movie before. And he's like somehow hacked into the mainframe and like downloaded Casablanca. And he's like watching Casablanca uh, or Casablanca, Casablanca. I don't even know. I guess I'm going to find out. But anyway, um, so he, and, and yeah, and so I'm like watching this movie. I'm like, I always wanted to see that Casablanca Blanca movie. And then last night when I was watching The Maltese Falcon, um, this Peter Laurie fella who I was talking about earlier, he's also in this movie. So I guess the, the universe is really just telling me to do this. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna count my money and see how much money I can give to the student loan people this month because I'm just, I'm trying to pay back my loans as fast as possible. So every extra dollar I have, I'm just like immediately putting on the loan. I mean, it's going to take me like two years still to pay them off using this method, but whatever. <coughs> I just, I want to be out of debt so bad. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to count my money. I'm going to throw money at the student loan people. It's out the window. And, uh, then I'm going to watch Casablanca. I just feel like a sick, a sickie who doesn't leave my house. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.